Hello everybody, it's Muriala here again, and we're on unboxing number four of our January 2017 loot haul. Now, before we get started, let's just... This is the Griffin figure. So let's take our prejudices against Griffin, our preconceived notions, and put it off to the side and judge the figure on its own. So this is a figure of Eris, or as Griffin spells it, Ellis. Uh, she is from Asobi ni Ikuyo. Uh, in English, they've renamed it to a different show or a different name. They call it Cat Planet Cuties. I hate that name. Asobi ni Ikiyo means something like let's play together. And I think that would be better. <laughs> but anyways, uh, like I said, this is from Griffin Enterprises and is a 1 7 scale. And she's fairly old. She was released uh, June 7th of 2011. I wound up ordering her from Amiami A minus B condition on uh, January 21st of 2017. And I paid... 5,480 yen for her, which was about $48.95, so under 50 bucks, which isn't that bad. Um, so, there's a few heiress figures out there, and a lot of them are kind of meh. This one is supposed to be one of the better ones of her. Uh, I will say, just looking at the box art and through the w window... The face does look a little bit off, but the rest of her looks pretty spot on for Eris. Uh, in case you didn't know, Asobi ni Ikkyo, Eris is an alien, a cat girl, and she comes to Earth to have fun and, you know, start relations. And she has big boobs, a big booty, and she likes to get naked. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots of nudity in the show, but it's... I, I liked it. It's very well drawn and animated. And there's boobs of all sizes. But anyways, enough about the show. Let's look at this figure. So it's a very tall box. I had to push this way back to get it in frame. So there's the front of the box. There is the side of the box. There is the back of the box. And the other side of the box. Uh, we've got the top of the box. So since this is Griffin, there are no seals, and that's where it gets the A- rating from. And then a plain, boring bottom with some information. So yay, let's uh, go ahead and get Eris open. She opens nice and easily. And she pulls out. little piece of paper which is showing how to put her tail into place. I think I can figure that out. Uh, so the inside of the box it has her name in the back misspelled. Should be E-R-I-S. But I mean there's no technical way to translate uh, Japanese names to English. There's different romanizations or whatever. And R's and L's in Japanese are kind of kind of interchangeable sometimes. Uh, and then there is also like a flower pattern and kind of like a ocean ripple, water ripple effect going on back there. So, the box is decent, but not the, you know, end-all, be-end, be-all of boxes. So... <laughs> There doesn't appear to be any tape holding the blister together, so it's kind of coming apart. Thus, the base fell out already. So let's just hurry up and do a spin around of her before she falls out. So there's the front of the box. Or the blister. There's the side. And the back. Her hair is massive. And the other side. And then back to the front. <clears throat> so, being Griffin... There's a plain disc base. It's got three pegs on it. Um, so this is the first one that I've gotten. This is something they used to do. The front actually has a name tag on it. It's kind of like a metal... It could be plastic, but it looks like metallic. And it's got her name on there. And 
I think that's the name of the show in Japanese. And little cat paws. So I, I kind of like that. I, I've read you don't necessarily need this base, though. She stand, should stand on that little uh, whirlpool effect. Or tornado type effect. So yeah, we'll see. So we'll go ahead and get the blister all the way open now. Um, so her tail is not attached by default. Pull that out of the plastic. It's a pretty big tail, nice and long. Maybe we can focus on it. And there's a little peg that pegs into her, you know, lower back. Yeah, it's not going to focus. Oh well, it's a tail. It is what it is. So now we've got Edis. And yeah, she'll stand without that black base. So if you don't like the black base, you don't need to use it. I'll still use it because I actually like that name effect, name nameplate. So we'll go ahead and take the plastic off of her. And she is a pretty large figure, so that's pretty cool. Uh, she's got sticky plastic around her leg. And being so old, it was like really sticky. Hopefully it didn't mess with the paint or anything. It doesn't look like it did. So she's got lots of plastic around her hair. And then more sticky plastic on her boobs. That wasn't stuck on as tight as her the one on her leg was. Yeah. Yeah, she so she stands just fine like that. Put the plastic down to the side. Um, if we go around to her booty, you can see the peg hole for her tail. So let's go ahead and get that in there. Or at least try to. I think it goes through there. No, maybe it goes through this one. I th think that's how it's supposed to go. This would be easier if you could take her head off. Um, just for references, I'm going to bring the box up and try to see... Yeah, it looks like this is the right hair gap that it's supposed to go through. And Come on, get in there. It's not the easiest thing in the world to get her tail attached. Just because you've got to get your finger under her hair and everything. So I... Whoops. Guys okay? I did just notice... Where was it? Ah. Right there's a little, like, scratch or miss paint right there. Um, just looking real quick. The hair is very nicely sculpted. Uh, you can see a couple pieces where it looks like it was glued on after the fact. Like right up here on the top of her head. But a lot of times with hair, you can't really avoid that. Uh, you can see it's kind of cracked a little bit there. But you're not going to see that normally. And it's kind of unavoidable. I'm, I'm not taking points off for that. Uh, right there's... A little extra dirt could be a uh, little bit of extra glue from when they glued her leg on. But overall, she doesn't look bad. Yeah, face looks decent enough. Not 100% Eris, but decent enough. And, you know, boob, she's got a bell and a little ribbon. And little green metallic parts of her spacesuit. And a little gray belt. There's not a whole lot of like shading except for in the hair. So it is what it is. Um, on the bottom you can see three peg holes. So since I'm going to use it, let's go ahead and get this attached to the base. If you've got space issues or you don't like the black base, you don't have to use it. There we go. 
and then we'll put her on back there and now we can move this forward a little bit since she's out of the box and tilt it down a little bit push her back a little bit <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm actually surprised how like big she is it could be because she's standing on this little effect that she's higher and it makes the figure d seem bigger uh, like I said her hair is taking up a lot of like width space so that's cool so yeah let's do a little spin around of her something kind of funny is she has the cat fluffy cat ears but she also has human ears <laughs> And there's the back. You can see some tread on the bottom of her shoes. And you can see her booty a little bit. It's not as full as in the show, but it's still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, she looks good. I'm I'm pleased. I'm happy. The face is a little off. There's a little bit of, you know, scrapes or whatever, but it is from 2011 so it's an older figure and yeah I think Griffin did a good job this time uh, I don't have any other heiress figures probably won't buy them but we'll see who knows how, what the future will bring uh, yeah so this is Eris or Ellis as Griffin spells her name <laughs> she is from Asobi ni Ikkyo or if you like the name Cat Planet Cuties I hate that name uh, she is manufactured by Griffin Enterprises and is a 1 7 scale figure. And she was originally released on June 7th of 2011. I bought her from AmiAmi uh, pre-owned, A minus B condition. So A minus for the figure, B for the box. And I paid uh, 5,480 yen for her, or $48.95. So yeah, I think I got a good deal on her. I'm happy. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.